Hey, it's Sylvia from Write Your Life, and in today's video, we're going to talk about what I'm doing for One Book July. So I've already done a July announcement video, and I talked about how I was doing three different challenges in July because I'm crazy. I'm going to be doing Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm going to be doing my keto challenge for the whole month of July, as well as One Book July. So for One Book July... The announcements were made and I decided I was also going to be doing a major and a minor. So my major is going to be digital planning and my minor is going to be uh, paper planning. And I kind of wanted to do an experiment of paper planning versus digital planning. What I like to keep digitally, what I like to keep on paper and why. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So now I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be using as far as paper stuff is concerned. So I have my trusty dusty um, metal box here that I keep. It's a pencil box I got from Jet Pens. I have my favorite highlighters in here, some tweezers, um, a metal ruler. I ended up getting this from Hobby Lobby. I love it so much. Ollie Clip. I love this Sarasa Dry. It's very bold, even in a 0.4. Then I love my Uniball Signo in a 0.28. It's just not, you know, because it's so, what's the word I'm looking for? I lost it. Um, <laughs> because it's so fine tipped, it doesn't show up on camera as beautifully as I would like. However, when you write with it, it's just lovely. And if you have like 0.4 grid or smaller, it really can fit into those tiny little, um, Great, so I really like this. We have a Sharpie pen. So obviously not black on black, but when I have a lighter Tombow, um, I don't know, there's something about this pen for sure. Like it picks up something on the Tombow, like the ink or something, and it starts to get clogged and it starts to skip and drives me crazy. So I tend to uh, do any kind of headers with Tombow with a Sharpie pen. Since it's a felt tip, I don't have to worry about that situation. Then I have a pencil and, of course, a clip. And that is everything in here. So let's show you, let's start with this one. <laughs> All right, so for the month of July, I decided I wanted to plan in an A6 Stology. So this I bought um, in June. We are now in July 1st. So happy Camp NaNoWriMo first day. Happy, you know, one book July first day and happy, you know, first day dieting if you decided to start a diet for July. So this is a more term. And so some people have already, you know, messaged me saying they can't get this anymore. It's in black. So I'm assuming the black one is out of stock on Amazon. I know someone told me you can get them on AliExpress. I know that takes a while, but um, if you really do enjoy it, I would consider, you know, going there. It's housing my A6 Stology. And I, okay, here's the thing. I got this notebook and I thought, oh my God, it's so cute, first of all, right? And it's almost identical in size to the Hobonichi, give or take a few millimeters. Um, beautiful paper. I really love it. I even set this up. I set it up. I was like, I'm going to totally use this, right? We have my index. I even numbered the pages at the bottom. We got all of this stuff going on. I did a last page for the year. Um, I don't know. I set it up and I was like, yeah, this is not a planner. <laughs> um, there's something about this that reminds me of Dear Diary. I don't know if it's the way it looks on the outside. It doesn't feel like a planner to me. I don't know if it's the size. I don't know what's happening. I do love the paper. There's nothing wrong with the paper. There's nothing wrong with the notebook at all. Super cute, right? I even have this awesome back pocket. I thought I would put my cards in here and carry this around all snazzy-like. Um, no, 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 no. Listen, um, the Stology is the only notebook that I can think of that I saw and I thought, yeah, pass. I mean, this has been out for years, um, <laughs> years. A lot of my planner friends have used this and I'm thinking, yeah, I don't really want to buy that every single time. I, I put it in my cart and I was like, yeah, no, every time I pass. Um, this wasn't about, you know, I saw someone with Astology and I thought, okay, I really want to do that because I love that notebook. It looks amazing. I just thought, well, you know, I've never used Astology. Why don't we try that out? Uh, yeah, so that is really sad. 
it's very sad to me that um, I'm not finding any interest to use this notebook at all. Um, so here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to come back to this after the summer's over and see if I use it. I would love to use this as a notebook. However, I already have a regular notebook for just notes or for keeping like, um, you know, my words of the year and all that stuff. So I don't have any use for this right now. So once I finish up all those notebooks, maybe I will come back to this. It's like I could go ahead and plan in this, like I said I was going to, or I can make myself happy and I choose happiness. So this is going back on the shelf until I figure that out. <laughs> then we have an oldie but a goodie. So this is my B6 Slim Jibun Techo in the biz version, which is more monochrome. It looks like this. I love this. I love this planner. It has everything you'll ever need. I just get bored and then I want to move on. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I feel like this one I thought would be the planner that I keep all year round. And I just, I'm finally admitting out loud that I'm not a keep one planner all year round kind of a girl. So there's that. Um, this has, you know, timekeeping in it. And since I'm doing many challenges throughout July, I thought this would work best for me, um, especially since I'm going to be watching a lot of writing sprints, uh, live streams from friends and what have you. Um, so I want to keep their schedules in here since we're all in different time zones. I felt like this was the best way to do that. It's already done for me. I don't have to do any work. I also love the monthly, which looks like this. And there's a tracker that looks like this. So I'm going to be setting this up. Um, probably not in this video, but yes, I'm definitely going to be using this and I think it's going to work out great. So I love this. I love that I came back to this planner. This is why I never get rid of my planners because I do. I eventually come back to them at some point. This is one of those planners that you use when you have a a heavy workload and for this month I'm going to be super busy and so here I am back in the G-Boon Techo and it feels so good yes um yes and I do have I do have this in the back where I had set up a bunch of different things so it's already ready for me I love this I'm going to be using this these are some printables that I love by DIY Fish. I remember when I was like so against DIY Fish inserts. There was something about them I didn't care for. All of a sudden, when I need more structure, these are my go-to. Um, these are a weekly tracker or chart, whichever you would like to call them. And I have the whole month of July printed out. And I believe, um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I think I have these for the full year. I purchased them for the full year. I love them. You can print them a little bit smaller if you want to, but they do fit, you know, in here fine, just like that. Or you can just like, oops, these ones are stuck. <laughs> it's like, why are you so much taller? Or you can just like pick this up and stick them in the back here if you want to like that and it's just fine because it sits at my desk for the most part anyway. And last but not least, I have a little bit of a ridiculous planner <laughs> and I'm okay with admitting that. So you know how like your favorite YouTuber or your friends have a certain type of planner and it influences you to also buy that planner and set up that planner? Um, none of my friends or the people I'm watching currently, as far as I know, I'm kind of behind on videos. Uh, <laughs> is in a personal size. So I have no one to blame this on, okay? Um, no one but myself. So here's the thing. In June, I was using my Filofax Croc, which I love. It's my everyday carry. I keep a lot of my personal stuff in there, so I don't share it very often, but I do use it every day. Um, I bought a trial version of DIY Fish Inserts, my favorite ones. Here they are. Um, I already set this up. And then you have the month on two pages, the month on one page. And then of course over here you get the weekly before the daily start. I love this insert. I've been using this insert for a while now. I was using it in the standard. Uh, so I ended up getting it for my personal Vilofax. Now, personal size is the same as TN. So if you don't want to put holes and you know slice them down the side, you can fold them into an insert and of course, you know, just cut off the edging. So that's what I did. And I have this personal insert. This is a camel traveler's notebook. You can still see where it says travelers there. Um, I cut this down forever ago. It used to be a standard size. I did not cut the width off because back in the day, having a very chunky wide planner was like the thing. Um, I'm not a chunky wide planner person anymore, but um, I had made a pen loop out of this bottom extra leather 
right there. So I decided, I don't know, I think I like it. I'm going to keep it and I'm not going to cut it, you know, more narrow. It should have been cut a little bit wider. I can't remember why I didn't. I think it's because of the holes here where the string went. Something like that. I don't remember. Um, but it's it's wide enough that it works. I thought about buying a personal size, but I was like, Sylvia, <laughs> let's use what you have because you might just be over it in a, like a couple of weeks because sometimes that happens to me. Um, you also. So uh, yeah. Plus, you know, I like Foxy Fix. I'm not happy with their customer service, but I enjoy the way their notebooks look. And they're not open yet. So I wanted something personalized. I didn't want to purchase something already used. Um, yeah, so I don't know. This is what I'm going to go with for right now. We'll see how it goes. But inside here, I have the rest of my trial for these DIY fish inserts. This is the month of July. And then, of course, I have August in here, which is the same setup. I just haven't filled out the front. Then we go to this insert, which I made. And this is just some... Traveler's Company blank um, paper. And I took the insert apart because I just wanted thinner inserts. So this is the paper I had left and I just cut it down to personal size. This is an insert that I had from, I don't know if it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby, but it was standard size. And I cut it down and I put it in here for notes. And so now I have four inserts all ready to go and plan and do whatever I need in here. So this will be for like everyday things. Like this guy, again, is just to keep track of all of my friends and like project planning stuff. Whereas this is like everyday stuff. I could use it as a journal um, for the daily notes. Uh, I could do whatever I want with it. I could track what I wrote for the day for NaNoWriMo, um, all of that stuff. So this is what I'm going to be using for July. Not gonna be using this, but at some point, maybe I'll come back to it. I just don't know. How do you guys feel about A6? How do you guys feel about Stology? Does it feel like it's more of a dear diary, note taking, journaling kind of thing than it does an actual planner slash bullet journal? I know that bullet journals are just like note taking, <laughs> but I don't know. I just don't feel like making spreads in here. And I thought that's what I wanted to do. And then I got really busy and I was like, who has time for that? I need to be writing 25,000 words this month on top of everything else. So <laughs> I don't know. Let me know down below. I think this would be great for a health journal. Um, and since these um, inserts in here I was using for health journal last month, and I loved them, but now I'm going to be using them for everyday tests. I could use this for health journal, but that's like another journal that maybe I don't want to carry. Who am I kidding? I would carry 10. Whatever. I don't even know. So this is what I'm going with. We'll see how it changes as... Um, you know, time goes on. I hope you'll join me on my video and watch my digital uh, planning videos because even if you're against digital planning, I think it's interesting to find what I I use and how it works for me because who knows, maybe it'll also work for you. And I tend to be the person who's pretty much functional when it comes to digital planning. So there might be something in there for you. All right. My name is Sylvia. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.